Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Sorry that my car is loud. Um, but welcome to the next week of Vlogmas. It's week two. I have, oh Jesus, ouch. It's Sunday the 8th and I am in a snowbank. Yikes. Um, I'm just leaving my house now to go meet a couple of my friends for brunch, um, which will be super fun. I'm looking forward to eating something. Um, last night we celebrated Victoria and our friend Emily's birthdays, which was super fun. We were out very late, uh, but I still managed to get a good night's sleep. Stole the first page, but only Are you by sleeping in your box. The guy in first is on the top of it, we're at the very bottom of it, but still on the same first page. Oh, oh, Guido's up there. Oh, man. Hello, everybody. If they're screaming in the background, just ignore that. That's my family watching football. But I am cooking dinner now. Well, my mom kind of cooked dinner. She basically made spaghetti and meatballs uh, or meatballs and sauce I'm making the spaghetti um, but anyways I feel like I haven't really filmed anything today because I spent most of my day um, just editing and doing the thumbnail which took me literally forever to figure out how I wanted to do it because I lost my template from last year um, I'm doing laundry now as well, and I had lunch with, um, or brunch really, with a couple of my friends from college, which was so nice to catch up and see them. Um, so that kind of was most of my day, because we really just hung out and talked after we finished eating and everything. So it's been a good day. Um, but yeah, full week of work ahead. Friday night, Christmas party, Saturday and Sunday in Maine. So very exciting i like having things to look forward to but yes it is oh my god it's only 5 30. i thought it was like 7 30. i'm so confused it's pitch black look at this it's only 5 30. look at the kitten she's still sleeping in the box mm -hmm. <laughs> She's such a deep sleeper. I literally walk around her and I'm like slamming things and just not even remembering that she's sleeping there because she's never slept there. And she still doesn't wake up. So, alright, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat my dinner and I'm going to watch some Vlogmas and then get away from the people who are screaming and watching football because I have no interest in that. And, uh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. Starting the week off with really crappy weather. It's like pretty freezing outside, and hence the giant jacket. Um, I have a skirt on though, so that should be interesting. But my fucking socks you coming down and that is just the most annoying feeling ever um yeah didn't get a very good night's sleep last night I think I was just kind of anticipating having a long week um but it did manage to oh there we go I did manage to get out of the house with everything that I needed to bring with me today including my camera and so I think just the fact that I've been able to start off this day vlogging is already showing it to be a success. Um, it's basically gonna pour all day today, which also probably means that some of the snow is gonna melt um, since it's gonna be also like in the 50s, which is insane. So yeah, I, I'm going to work now. 7.15 in the morning. I got a full day ahead of me. I'm going to try to go to the gym after work. Um, I did bring all my stuff with me. 
but I guess it depends on how tired I am. And I'm just driving by some kids who are looking at me filming myself, so yeah, pretty good. I will check in with you guys later, which probably won't be until a lot later, so. Hello everyone, I don't even know if you can see me very well. I am just now leaving work. It's pitch black, even though it's only 4.15. And I look kind of scary in these lights. Oh my God, I look so scary. I'm just in traffic. Um, but I am going home, but first I am going to be good and I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't want to, it's really gross outside. Honestly, the weather is so rainy and disgusting. But I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna listen to a podcast or watch John Mayer's current mood from last night or something and just like walk, I don't even know, something to say that I did something but not too much because I feel so tired. Um, and then just go home and chill. I really feel like watching Call the Midwife. I was watching it on my way home from New York the other day. Um, but also I need to be finishing Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and I need to catch up on Vlogmas. Maybe I'll watch Vlogmas while I'm on the treadmill. That might make me happy and want to actually be walking for a good amount of time. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna go continue my rainy journey home and I will see you guys later. Hello everybody. It is a while later. I did end up going to the gym um, I just literally watched vlogs on my phone and what is happening and um, walked on the treadmill for a while. So that was a good, I was going to say it was fun. I don't think I would say it was fun, <laughs> but um, then I came home, I ate some dinner, I took a shower, now um, um, oh, Ari came over and we sorted out the last final stuff that we have to turn in for the apartment, which I'm going to go do tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm working from home. I have a meeting I'm going to and then I have a dentist. Oh, uh, no. I keep thinking I have a dentist appointment. It's an eye appointment. I have an eye appointment and I'm actually really excited for it because I really, really need new contacts. Why is this not working? Um, I need new contacts, so I'm going to go do that tomorrow, and that's about all that's planned. Right now, I am really trying to decide between watching Call the Midwife and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I think I want to watch Call the Midwife, and I just feel like I should watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel which I don't think is a good enough excuse. Um, Cause my coworker and I were talking about Call the Midwife and now it's making me want to watch it. Um, however, I was just leaving off on an episode that was really hard to watch. So that should be interesting. I'm gonna go, I have a bowl of ice cream because I need dessert and I went to the gym. Not that that even matters. And I'm going to probably just go to sleep afterwards. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today, oh, sorry, one second. <laughs> Today is um, Tuesday, today's Tuesday. And I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I have a meeting later today, so I'm not going into my office. I am going to be at home for part of the morning, go to my meeting, and then um, be back at home. So I've just gotten up. I'm going to make some tea, go on my computer, do some work, and then finish getting ready for the day. I'm so tired this morning, even though I slept probably like an hour later than I usually do. Um, I just got up, washed my face. It is so, so warm out today. It almost just feels humid because it still is a little bit chilly, but it's like 56 degrees, which is insane because it's 
like normally 30 or something like last week before I left for New York it was literally in the 30s um yeah 56 it literally feels like springtime outside it's so nice it's a nice way to wake up the window's open I'm so tired I had like the weirdest dreams it felt like it was so odd I'm gonna have some tea wake up and just get going on my day. <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone. It is a while later. Um what have I done today? I had a meeting. I went and dropped the checks off to for our apartment. The phone's ringing. Um, I hate that noise. I don't know who it is. Um, yeah, now, oh my God. <laughs> so it's a while later, like I said, my beautiful, spring weather day has turned into rain which i think is supposed to turn into snow tomorrow i have no idea so it's about almost three o'clock i'm working for another hour on my computer then i have an eye appointment and then i think i might try to make cookies i have a work christmas party tomorrow so i think that's what i want to do it depends on my energy level as to what type of cookies i want to make because really i want to make sugar cookies and like pipe icing and all that um but i don't know if i really want to do that because right now i feel so tired i literally just want to like crawl into bed so i told you i was tired so yeah i don't quite know the plan for that but um also don't know the plan for dinner I did not eat breakfast today, which was such a bad idea, but I literally forgot. I wasn't even hungry. I got to my meeting and realized that I hadn't eaten anything and it was, yeah, I wasn't that hungry, but then I ended up just eating lunch, which was great. And that's just what's been going on. Not too much really. Um, it is still really warm out. It's 57 degrees outside and raining. And I don't know how that's gonna turn into snow because that does not, it doesn't really seem like it's about to drop like almost 30 degrees to snow that's crazy also i'm really really in the mood to wrap christmas presents but i feel like it's too early it's only the 10th so i guess it's kind of early i also don't know how the kitten oh my god she's so cute she literally sleeps in this basket by the door um, I don't know how she's going to react to um, Christmas presents and if she's going to tear them open before Christmas actually happens. Look at how cute she is. This is how crappy it is outside. Wet and rainy. That basket is literally like for gardening gloves and stuff. She just sleeps in it because she's so cute. All right, I'm gonna go, I guess, do some more work. Actually, you know what? I may make a cup of tea since I'm so tired. Like, why am I so tired? I guess I, I haven't, I didn't even get up as early as I usually do today. So I really don't have an excuse. Um, this is dirty, but yeah, I need some energy big time. I also think it has to do with the weather because it is, sorry. <laughs> It is so warm, but it's so gloomy at the same time. Um, yeah, this weather is not really making me feel very festive. I'll be honest, this morning I was watching old vlogs from like the summertime because it felt like a summery mood outside. So that's what I was doing. But now I'm watching old vlogmas from other people i'm not watching my own i'm watching other people's vlogs and yeah 
I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. So maybe I should stop. All right, everybody. I'm leaving to go to my eye appointment now. I really hope Liz isn't watching this because I'm wearing her coat, but really only because it's raining. And if you are Liz's roommate and you're watching this, don't tell her I'm wearing my coat. Um, anyways, I'm on my way to my eye doctor appointment. I know I said I wasn't gonna, also, if you hear the rain, I'm sorry. My car is very small, so you hear every noise that this thing makes while I drive and film, and I just can't help it. Um, it's really disgusting outside, but pretty much all of the snow has melted from the storm that we got last week. Like, we got a lot of snow, and it's pretty much all gone. So that's pretty cool. Um, on my way now, like I said, on my way out, I happened to see a ton of Christmas presents come in. I'm pretty sure that I finished or started this, oh my God, can I even speak? I said, I'm pretty sure that I started this sentence a few minutes ago and then I did not remember to finish it. Um, but anyways, I was opened my door. So many Christmas presents came in the mail today. One of which I think is for me. And I'm not even mad that I saw the brand that it was from because I'm literally so excited and I really needed this item badly. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about that. But yeah, there's just like other stuff that's come in. So I'm wondering if tonight I make like an easy cookie to bring to the party tomorrow and then just wrap Christmas presents. And even if I don't, um, put them underneath the tree because like I said I'm worried about how the kitten is going to react to seeing like items underneath the tree because she's already very obsessed with the tree um I think I might just do that there's so many things that, that have come in the mail and I just want to wrap them and I also want to wrap Liz's things because she's coming home this weekend um before we go to Kenny Bunk. So I don't want her to see things that are hers. And my parents have had things that have come in the mail for them. So, you know, I just think it might make the most sense. Also, I'm just kind of talking myself into it at this point. Oh my God, so much has happened since I last spoke to you guys. Basically, I drove to the eye doctor. This is like really throwing me off this, the light from this camera. I'm gonna put this back. Um, basically I drove to the eye doctor on my way there saw billowing billowing black smoke from a fire and so I like didn't know what to do for some reason my first instinct was literally to drive towards the fire I don't know why I thought that but <laughs> I was like oh I'm sure so many people have called there was like plenty of people around it was like a huge main street in our town and I was like oh, I'm sure someone's already reported it and then I drove away and thought, what if everyone thinks that someone has already reported it? Like I didn't hear any sirens, so I didn't assume that it was already being taken care of. So then I called 911 and reported the fire. I had no idea what street it was on. I just knew it was behind the post office in our town. And it had already been reported, but they were thankful that somebody else reported it. Although I'm sure they were kind of annoyed that so many people were calling. But anyways, I felt better that I reported it how many times have I said report in the last 20 seconds. Anyways, I went to the eye doctor, got my contacts because I literally ran out. I don't know why this is so boring, but I don't know why this always happens to me. I literally run out of contacts after like 10 months, even though they're supposed to last me a year. So I think I lose them or I just change them too quickly or something. I think I take little packets of them with me when I travel and then sometimes I lose them. So I'm not very responsible about that, but got all my contacts, got a fresh pair in right now, but they dilated my eyes and it makes me feel crazy. Like I can see far away, so like driving I'm fine. I also live like literally less than 10 minutes from the eye doctor, but I can't see a thing on my phone and I don't know how long this takes to wear off, but like I couldn't see my like the receipt when I was signing it. I couldn't see the bill. Like 
I hate this feeling. Like, if this is what it feels like to like need reading glasses or something, like, oh my God, because it makes me feel crazy. I'm almost home, but I thought I would update you guys on that. And I'm not even really hungry for dinner, so probably won't be eating anything anytime soon. It's, it's not even five o'clock yet. That appointment was very fast. Um, but yeah, Whew. what a 40 minutes I've had. <laughs> um, all right, well, I will go and I will see you guys soon. Just pulled up to my house. Oh my God, do my eyes look crazy? I literally can't even see. Do they look crazy? A little bit. Your pupils are so small, I can see them. What do you guys think? Are they dilated? They sure feel like it because I can't see anything. Hello, people. Ow. Jesus. Well, as I always say, it's a while later. And I'll tell you what happened. As you know, I got my eyes dilated. And for some reason, I've Excuse me, I've definitely had them dilated before. I just don't remember. Um, because it was a couple years ago and I just have the worst memory. But basically, I drove home fine and then I just got so panicky. Like I couldn't read anything, I couldn't see my phone, and I couldn't like read the bill. Like I said, I couldn't read anything, and I just came home and I don't know I think it was just because I wasn't expecting it like I wasn't prepared to dilate my eyes and the doctor was just like oh we haven't dilated them in a couple years like can I do it and I was like sure why not because I like forgot what it felt like I was so panicky my chest was literally tight like I was about to have like an anxiety attack or something I, I was like I couldn't stop like I couldn't stop talking I couldn't stop like moving around and like I was just so so anxious I don't know why like just because I couldn't see it was just so unsettling so my mom was reading me all of the like activities that she had printed out that were like available to do this when um this weekend when we we're in Maine in the town and like I just ended up falling asleep on the couch <laughs> like she literally read me to sleep so that was nice I ended up taking like probably like a 30 minute nap um, and by the time I woke up, it was probably like an hour and a half since I had had my eyes dilated and it was all done for the most part. So that was, so I felt so much better, um, after that. So then we didn't really eat dinner Neither neither of us were really hungry. So we just had a snack and then I took a bath, which was fine. Um, and then we just watched the end of Arthur Christmas and the first probably like, 20 minutes of elf and then we're both kind of tired so we came upstairs um but i'm gonna watch call the midwife go to bed oh i didn't end up making cookies either for my christmas party tomorrow so i'll either make them in the morning or i'll just not make them because just wasn't just wasn't in the cards for tonight um so yeah i'm gonna do that and go to bed and then tomorrow is a new day and yeah should be good well that was my crazy day that i was not expecting to have but that's what happens when you're vlogging you gotta share this stuff well i'm gonna go it's time for call the midwife and bed i know i said i was gonna go to bed and watch call the midwife that hasn't even happened yet i've just been sitting here like going through my phone because i started and i just can't stop and I realized that, because I have an app for my YouTube channel called YouTube Studio, and I can see, like, it updates more frequently in terms of, like, how many views I have on videos. Um, and, like, I can read, I can see all my comments. Oh, Jesus. I can see comments, like, really clearly, and, and it's just organized easier than it is to go to the YouTube app and look through my page that way. I've been vlogging for four years. That might not seem like a long time or it might seem like a really long time, but to me that seems like such a long time. Four years. Uh-oh, the kitten's trying to get into my room. I don't wanna let her. 
I want her to just go to bed. Um, four years feels like so long. I can't even imagine that. Like that is crazy to me. Because <sighs> the first time I like really started vlogging was um, Vlogmas 2016. So I did 2016, Vlogmas 2017, 2018, and this is 2019. Um, so it's almost been, it's been four vlogs. This is my fourth Vlogmas. Like that's crazy. That's insane. Hello everybody, oh my god, it's very hot in here. I've been defrosting the car and I'm leaving my house now. I look very festive. I also have green socks on. Um, I'm leaving my house now to go to my work Christmas party. Um, but I have to stop and get a gift for the Yankee Swap on my way. I know. I wasn't very prepared. Honestly, I should have gotten something while I was in New York because that probably would have been really easy, but I guess I didn't really do a lot of shopping while I was there. Anyways, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. We did get snow last night. I really didn't think we were going to. It looks very cute outside, very dusted with snow. I would say it probably got about three inches because that's what I could kind of tell from clearing off my car. Um, but it stopped, so I don't think we're getting any more snow. And it was um, not very heavy, so that's pretty good. You guys are kind of tilted. So, yes, I'm going to go pick up my gift. I might get a drink at Starbucks. I went to go make a second cup of tea today. It was also my last tea bag. I have more coming in the middle today because I ordered mine from Amazon and the tea bag was ripped, which I kind of thought it looked funny before I put it in the mug, but I like filled the mug with water and then there was just like little bits of ground tea like floating everywhere. So I didn't drink that. I only had one cup today. I might get a peppermint mocha. I feel like I might do that. I got one while I was in New York and it was absolutely delicious. Um. What else is happening? Honestly, I'm very surprised that we got snow. I'm glad that it's not on the ground anymore, but it looks really pretty. I wish I could turn the camera around easily and show you. And also last night, as suspected, I stayed up and watched my own vlogs for like probably two hours. I didn't get very much sleep, but I watched, what did I watch? I watched the 2017 roundup the 2018 roundup, I watched when we were in York, two, not this summer, the summer before. I don't think I vlogged this summer while we were there. Um, I thought I must have watched something else. I don't even remember at this point. So yeah, that's what I did last night before I went to bed. I didn't even watch Call the Midwife. <laughs> even though I kept saying over and over again that I was going to. Um, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my work party. It's just kind of a lunch thing and then I'm gonna head home. Hello, everyone. I'm leaving my work Christmas party now. Sorry, I just went over a speed bump. Um, and I like kind of have the rest of the day to do whatever, which I didn't really think that I had to do. So, um, I am going to go to the mall because there's a mall really close to here um, and there's a couple of things that I need to pick up or wanted to see in person before I bought them. So I think I'm going to do that now. I'm feeling kind of tired but this is kind of my only opportunity to go to the mall in the middle of the day because every other day I'm working. So that's going to happen. Um, in my office Yankee swap I got a like it sounds kind of lame but honestly I'm so happy about it and you might be able to see it it's right here it's a um, trash barrel for your car that like is it, like can compress and be small if you don't need it or if you want to get rid of it um, but I'm honestly pretty pumped about it it looks like this hello everyone oh my god what a terrible angle <laughs> um, I am trying to leave the mall now. I think I might be lost, 
but I did not vlog at all while I was in the mall. Honestly, I didn't even think about it. I was in such a mission. I got everything and more. There were some things that I didn't order because I wanted to see them in person first or smell them. So glad I did that because I almost got Liz something and then I put it on and I hated the smell of it. And then I got something for myself that I'm just gonna probably wrap and put under the tree and say it's from my parents. Um, because I definitely didn't need it, but I'm so glad. I'm This mall that I went to has an Aerie, and that's like my favorite, favorite store. Like I order clothes from there all the time. That big comfy white like sweatshirt that you saw me wear earlier in the vlog and like everything recently, that is from there and it is so flipping comfortable and I will link it down below if you have not seen it already. Um, okay, cool, I've made my way out of this mall. But yeah, so successful. I still have a couple of people that I still haven't bought things for or need like one or two more things. Um, but overall, totally worth the trip. I was probably in there for probably about two hours. Totally feel successful. And I think at this point, I'm actually gonna start wrapping presents tonight because I keep saying that, but honestly, like I have so much crap like for like just gifts like everywhere and like I don't have room to put them where I'm gonna keep hiding them from people so they're gonna be wrapped tonight and put under the tree and we're just gonna have to see if the kitten attacks them or not and if she does I'll just hide them somewhere else I guess <laughs> I have no idea but time to go home I don't have anything else planned for the night I'm definitely gonna watch Call the Midwife definitely have a hot shower and wash my hair and I'm very excited about it. Hello everybody. I am home. I'm showered and I am currently set up with you guys sitting on a box because I'm about to wrap some Christmas presents. Just like I said I would, I didn't really eat dinner. I just made um, some plain couscous with olive oil and salt and it was good. I'm definitely gonna be hungry again soon. I'm feeling very tired and unmotivated to wrap gifts, but everything is sitting in front of me, so I feel like there's no excuse not to do a couple of them. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna keep watching things. Oh, this is the thing I was, the sweater thing I was talking about with you earlier. Um, yeah, maybe I'll wrap like whatever's on this table and then get into bed <laughs> it's only 6 30 but i'm just so tired hello everyone welcome to thursday it's finally thursday thank god i have some chocolate in my mouth because i just was eating my advent calendar i didn't even eat yesterday's who am i it was delicious though I, it's later on the day. It's not the morning, it's nighttime. I already had a full day of work. I didn't bring my camera around um, at all because A, it would have just been me grumpy in the morning on my way there, or me in the dark filming in my car where you can't see me on my way home. So, not too exciting, but I came home and cooked dinner for my family because you know I'm just such a nice person. <laughs> um, no, I made the Bon Appetit um broccoli bolognese which you may have seen a clip of already and i just um yeah i showered i listened to the chicks in the office podcast that happened today um or that came out today i'm now watching some vlogmas and packing for maine and kind of also cleaning my room at the same time my room is very small so it gets very cluttered so quickly and it makes me feel like the walls are kind of closing in so i am kind of organizing a little bit my mom helped me today and wrapped a ton of gifts while i was on my way home from work so that was awesome and so a lot of stuff is being like checked off so i'm feeling more in order still have to finish the christmas cards though that's probably gonna have to wait until next week since tomorrow i work and then i have the christmas party at night Saturday morning 
uh, Liz will come home and we will go to Maine together for the day, night, and then we'll come home Sunday. I don't know what time yet though. That's what's happening. That's my update. I don't have anything else to share for now, but maybe I will later. I've just been really looking forward all day into getting into my bed, but now my bed's covered in folded clothes, so I'm gonna have to finish this in order to make that happen. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. It is Freaky Friday. Actually, it is a Freaky Friday because today's Friday the 13th. Crazy. I am just leaving my house now, probably a little bit later than usual days, but I just had a really hard time waking up. Um, I literally have my most comfortable clothes on, I'm ready for a Friday. I packed all of my clothes for Maine last night, which was very impressive of me. Um, and today all I've done is done my hair, put on a little of the glossier, um, shit, what is it even called? Face tint? I don't remember. I usually I'll wear something heavier than this, um, but it actually doesn't look too bad in the camera. And some of the powder as well, and some bomb.com, a little, uh, Brow Wiz, I think it's called, from Benefit. Brows. And then, that is it. Hello everyone. Welcome to Friday. I think I vlogged this morning. I don't remember. Um, I think I did. So, I am leaving my house now. I'm all dressed up. And I am going to go to Ari's house and then we're going to leave from there to go to the Christmas party. I didn't vlog today while I was at work because honestly... There was nothing to film, I didn't really do a lot. Um, but it's 7.30, my face looks so red. Like, why does it look red? Like, I'm literally ready to leave the house. And I'm bright red. This always happens to me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the house and hopefully I'll vlog tonight. Probably not on my camera because I'm not gonna bring it with me, so definitely not on my camera. Um, but we shall see. And I... We'll hopefully see you guys soon. We'll later. quickly check in. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday. We are driving to Maine now. It's disgusting outside. It's not even 10 in the morning. <laughs> and we are on our way. <laughs> you know what rocking out last night? <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, we made it to Maine. Oh, all right. We're gonna go get something to eat. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Why do you pronounce it like that? Happy prelude. This is how everyone should be saying it. That's the tree. Oh my God. Hello everybody. We Hello. all fell asleep and took two hour <laughs> naps. <laughs> and now we are out exploring. It's not even that late. What time is it? It's like 5.15. It's like 5.15. 5.11. Like <laughs> but it's pitch black, so. Time to explore. We got tickets to see a uh, like a old historic building <laughs> tour later, which we did last year, but Liz wasn't with us. So she'll get to experience it. I feel like I look like Anna's um, husband, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I? Mark Newton, with everyone. The hood. Yeah, you do. We went to this place and tried olive oil and truffle oil 
and it was the most heavenly experience in the world and now it's so foggy we I think there's fireworks going off it's either that or gunshots <laughs> but <clears throat> mainly drizzle if you come to Kennybun you have to come here it's so good maybe it's just right there yeah but that thing is normally like around the corner this fog is nuts it looks so scary like look at us in the camera <laughs> this is the spookiest thing we've ever done. So this <laughs> boat came undone and now it's over here and it's tilting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a very big deal because it's not supposed to be here. You want to tell them what happened? Well, I guess it, <laughs> the, what is it, the spirit of Massachusetts. Yeah ripped off this mooring or the mooring ripped off of it and it floated down the river <laughs> and it's stuck there and it looks like it might tip into the boathouse which, which is right there which but if you ask me evacuated. it looks like it's going more this way <clears throat> a couple people but it's huge that place is packed. <laughs> oh. and i can't believe the fog Two it's so creepy ship. out right yeah, now it's crazy and look at the tide going out <laughs> oh really scary water scary water hello everybody it's a while later at this point this vlog is going to be like an hour long so i don't know how much more i'll film today actually i'll probably end it here because tomorrow will be the start of a new vlog but anyways um we went to dinner but we really just got like a snack and shared food and it was so foggy like crazy crazy foggy we couldn't see anything and we were trying to see that boat that we were talking about that um like I don't even really know what happened to it, but it doesn't look good. Um, I'm going to go downstairs now. We're going to watch Home Alone and then go to bed. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have probably like a half a day here. And then we'll go back home. But thank you for watching this week's video. I have not started editing, so I have no idea how long it is. But if you watch to the end and you're seeing this, thank you so much for doing that. It was a crazy week and I actually filmed a lot, which I'm really happy about. But probably made for a long video so i apologize for that if it was i'll see you guys in the next weekly vlogmas um which will probably come out right before christmas and then i think i'll probably do like a christmas eve christmas vlog separate so peace out see you next time